So I'm going to quickly go over what I'm going to bring on this two-night camping trip to Washington Island. Uh, I'm not going to try to bring a lot because it's only two nights and you don't really need that much stuff to begin with. So starting over here I have a camera bag that holds like my GoPro and my camera, uh, a selfie stick which I use sometimes when I'm skating or whatever. A luxury item that I bring is this portable Bluetooth speaker, but it comes in handy because it doesn't only play the music, which is nice, but uh, it's solar powered and uh, there's a battery in there that you can recharge like your phone or my GoPro with. So it's a nice luxury item to have. I bring a sweatshirt, an extra shirt. I'm only going two nights, so I really don't care. You know, I'm just going to see things, so I'm not bringing a bunch of clothes or nothing. And then this is what I use for a pillow. It uh, compresses really good. It's just like a thermal rest pad, sitting pad, but it works good as a pillow, and I stuff it in this uh, sack here, which I'll throw my clothes in there when I pack it in my bike, so it just keeps stuff a little more organized. So it's nice, you know, it's like it makes a pillow. Uh, my tent I'm using is a two-man Merrimont tent. It's not super small. Uh, it's bigger than I probably like, but it's nice because you can throw your luggage in there and your extra items so they're not outside. And uh, the forecast isn't calling for rain, so I'm not bringing like a cover for my bike or anything. It's just extra stuff. It takes up room. Uh, I have a Gerber. It's like a multi-tool, kind of like a Leatherman. I don't cook a lot of food because I like to experience the different places to eat and stuff but what I do bring I do bring a small burner uh, a small cylinder of gas small burner and a very small pot and what I usually do is if I'm at a gas station I see some ravioli or something I'll pick it up because it's kind of nice like just to have something if you're at the fire at night and you kind of get kind of hungry you know just make a thing of ravioli really quick and you know it's small it's not huge I'm not making you know scrambled eggs and bacon in the morning or anything but you know it comes in handy and it's not that much it's small I don't bring a bunch of flashlights. I do bring uh, a headlamp because it's small. It's really bright. You can hang it in the top of your tent. Uh, it comes in handy. It doesn't take up space. I have my Big Angus sleeping pad, which is an air mattress basically. It's pretty small. And then I have a small North Face uh, sleeping bag. It's really small. It compresses easy. Uh, it's only rated for like 40 degrees. Um, but you know, I, I like this one because it can compress really easily. And uh, I'll be plenty warm. I can use sleep in my clothes if I get cold, cold or not. Uh, I'm bringing my skateboard helmet, a small day pack, and then also my skateboard, my little longboard here. I'll bring to cruise around in uh, the towns or whatnot. And then this time, I've never done this before. I want to see if I can get my little travel guitar on there. I think it'd be pretty cool to have that. Uh, I've never tried that before. So we'll see if we can make it happen. And another tip which is a nice thing to do. You know, you bring a small day pack like this, and you got some items, you know, you could just pack it all, organize it in there, and then you could throw it in your luggage on your bike or on your duffel bag or whatever you're using. It just keeps everything nice and kind of safe. Like, if you have camera equipment, you know, the less vibration, the better for that kind of stuff. But, so I'll pack it in my bike and we'll see how much room I end up with. Uh, but it should be too bad. 